We are on our way to Bristol for the RCN conference about change and leadership, apparently. We've got our McDonald's. Got melon cake. Cake and more. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Porridge. <laughs> Claire's been healthy. Healthy options always. So, after being stuck in traffic, um, we finally hours. made it. We're very late, it's 20 to 10 now, and we've arrived at the wrong hotel. <laughs> Would you believe there is three Mercury hotels, Mercury? Mercure, Mercure. Hotel, Mercure hotels in Bristol, all next to each other. So now we're having to walk to the other one, very late and a little bit embarrassed, but what can we do? <laughs> staff and students at the university and it's probably been the most powerful thing that we could have done because what it started is a conversation. It's a conversation where everybody is equal. We all have mental health. We're all on a continuum and we can all share our stories. is the day after the RCN conference and by the time I got home last night I was shattered. Um, I think I got home about half nine, nine, half nine, ended up showering, um, didn't even eat because I was so tired. I literally fell asleep which is really poor health, people don't do that. But yeah I just wanted to round the day off with you and let you know how amazing RCN 
conference was yesterday. It was really, really good. But there was a hall full of posters, as you've, as you've seen in the video. And we sort of stood there, we networked with so many people. Oh my God, that was my favorite part of the day. Now, when I go out into big places around people, I get really, really anxious. Some of you may know this, who've watched some of the videos before, and I've said it before. And um, people don't realize, actually, because of vlogging things, people think that I'm naturally this extrovert. I'm really not, I'm a massive introvert, I know. Don't judge me for this. Um, but I get really, really anxious around new people and meeting new people, and it's making me feel weird thinking about it now. But yesterday, I actually felt really comfortable, and I think it was, you know, sometimes you go into a place and it's all to do with room layout, and that sounds so strange, but I go into a place and if it looks comfortable, and I feel comfortable, I'm comfortable, and I feel fine, and everyone was lovely, and the room layout was lovely, and I felt comfortable. So I managed to network and meet some amazing people. Oh my God, so let me tell you now, if you're a Twitter user, I know some of you are Twitter users and are on my Twitter, so we have in the morning, please join in. We have something called hashtag, that's hashtag, hashtag early risers club. Please search the hashtag and see all of the positive, amazing messages that's there every single morning. Um, every morning we've got a group called the Early Risers Club. We all motivate each other, we all inspire each other, we all lift each other up. Sometimes people are having bad days so we lift each other up and it's just lovely to log in in the morning and go there, retweet, comment and be inspired for the day and it starts my day off absolutely perfect. So thank you so much to all of the Early Risers. But as part of that, three people that are part of the Early Risers Club who I've known for like however long now, especially Aval. Aval, I have known Aval for maybe a year and a half now, a year, a year and a half. I don't even know. But it's just through social media and I've never met these people. And I just, I met them all yesterday and it absolutely made my day. I was like, oh my God, you're my Twitter friends. And it just, it made my day. I love meeting new people. And um, because I've been talking for them for, for so long, and you know, I see them as really motivating, inspiring people. It really made my day to meet them. So thank you so, so much. Fiona, Rebecca, Ava. These are them, they're absolutely amazing and I love them so much and it was just so lovely to meet them and now I can put a face to the tweets. It's fantastic. So that was the highlight of the day. So we had our poster presentation and then in between that we went to the workshop so we got to do some talks. I went to a, there was um, a leadership workshop that I really wanted to go to because I'm big on leadership and inspiring people and motivating people so I really wanted to go to that and that was really helpful. Um, it was all about sort of how you can get students to sort of step up and be leaders and it's sort of a program that one of the hospital trusts has put into place and it's working really really well so that was really good to, to to listen to and be involved in then i went to digital health because as you know i love technology i love technology i love digital stuff um, and that was one that i really wanted to go to so i went to that one really really interesting so this one trust has put into place like these digital health champions and they are basically student nurses and well anyone else that wants to sign up but mainly student nurses I think they said and they go out and help the patient um, in their own homes, in the workplace, in clinics, in GP surgeries and they're helping them to search for information about their condition but safely so that they're not going on to weird websites or anything like that and they're using official websites getting proper information rather than some random information that might not help the health condition that they've got so that was really good to see and hear and then i did ask a question about old older people that maybe don't have technology and they just said that there are people that obviously don't have the technology and they have to find other things to sort of put into place for them so it's good that they're, they're sort of thinking ahead and the thinking about these people because that's something I did worry about with the long-term plan. If you haven't seen the long-term plan, have a look. It's like 132 or 36 pages long. Really nice bedtime read. It's very long-winded and I'm still going through it with a fine tooth comb. And it's like t two months later. But in there, it's all about digital health and changing the face of general practice with digital health and getting people to manage their own conditions and look up their own conditions at home instead of coming into clinics and things. Uh, it's supposed to take the pressure off of the GPs we'll see how that works but that was one of my queries when i read that and i thought what about 
those older people because I've worked in GP and I know primarily it's a lot of old people that don't have technology. So I did worry about that. But it's really nice to see that actually they are putting things in place for that to ha for if that ever happens. So it's really good to see. And then the very first workshop we went to was by our lecturers, Amanda and Bernie from um, Birmingham City University. And they were amazing. I love how they can just stand up and speak to people. I'm just like, how do you? Oh, I want to be able to do that in a room full of people so confidently and get everybody laughing as well. It was amazing. But they were talking about record keeping. In our lectures, we have a lectures all up, we have one certain lecture that we have in second year all about record keeping. And we get it in the first year, but in second year in particular, this is when the whole classroom is turned into a court case. And Bernie's the judge, she's got a little mallet. I'm sure there's a real name for that. I'm going to put it there like always. She has a little mallet and she's like, student nurse Claire Carmichael. Luckily that wasn't me. I definitely put my head down. I was like, please don't pick me, please don't pick me. But she called your name, you stood up and you basically were in court with her because of your record keeping and a patient, something's happened to a patient, they've died or something. And it's terrifying and it makes you think, oh, record keeping is really, really important because I don't want to be in that situation. So that was really good to see what actually they're doing with that. So they're creating these DVDs and these online virtual sort of workshops, e-learning sort of things to help you in your practice with record keeping. And I thought that was amazing. I didn't even know they were doing that. So to hear they were doing that, I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is fantastic. This is gonna help so many people because I know as a student nurse, when receiving that sort of training, I found it really beneficial and I still talk about that today. So I, I'm really proud of them. I think they've done absolutely amazing and it's gonna help so many people. So yeah, so all in all, it was an amazing day. If you are as part of the SRCN, you can attend these conferences and workshops, have a look online, see what's on, have a really good look because these workshops and conferences, event, different events that they put on, they're really, really good. And they, they are so knowledgeable and really good for your own learning. And you can also put it towards CPD hours when you're a qualified nurse. I'm putting yesterday on my CPD log for when I qualify or when I get an interview so I can show them what I've been doing. And you meet so many amazing people at these events. So if you are signed up to the RCN, please have a look when your next event is. If you're going to Congress, I will see you there. Come to Congress. I, I think it's May, what date is it? 12th to 19th, is it, or something? I've probably got that completely wrong. I'm gonna put the links below anyway. Have a look at the links. Register, it's a free event to go to. It's in Liverpool this year. It's gonna be amazing. I've never been, but last year I just, I had so much going on, I had to take the time out and not go, and I, f I felt really bad about it. So this year I'm going, because it was really frustrating seeing everybody tweet about it, and I'm like, oh, I wish I was there, I wish I was amongst the excitement. It's all mainly student nurses as well. There's a lot of student nurses there, a lot of qualified, you're gonna meet amazing people, really big people as well in the NHS. It's, fan it's gonna be fantastic, I think, so. If you're not signed up, sign up. And I'm gonna shut this video down now, so I shall see you all next week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching, as always. And I hope you found this beneficial. If not, I'm really sorry. The rest of my week has been really, really not exciting, to be honest. I've been trying to revise and struggling to revise. And I've got work Saturday and I'm off Sunday, which I fully dedicate to revising again. So yeah, so that's it. I shall see you all next week.